Hi everyone, I'm going to react it to Log Horizon Season 1, Episode 3. And last episode was the Battle of Loka, where they faced some player killers, right? And they won. And then um, they were told by the, what was it, the guild that one of their own was like in danger and that the cat person was protecting her. Sirara, I think that was her name. And the cat person was protecting her and that they were going to send some um, tough players from the guild to go and get her. But then our dude, what was his name? Um, Shiroi, yeah. Shiroi was like, if they were to embark on this journey then they would die and so he decided to go well him and the others decided to go in their places to, in their place yeah to go get her so yeah now they are um riding on the griffins i think they're called to get to the place where serara is so yeah that's what happened last episode and before we get into this one if you guys have a reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and please consider supporting me on patreon at patreon.com slash and now let's start this episode and here we go okay guys in case the reaction gets blocked and i had to cut out the reaction itself you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself so you can just click on it watch it and then you just come back for my review okay. oh yeah and to figure out that nobody dies too either Depths of Palm. Would that be the title of the episode? Yeah, these two. I'm like, they're gonna be important characters, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. so that's the title of the episode. The Depths of Palm. Mmm. -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Careful. Ratata. <laughs> the rat man. So they cornered them. Oh, the plague debuff or whatever. Is that something like, you know, poison that you get in um, Final Fantasy? Doesn't taste. Tastes like crap. That sucks. Like, I loved food, so, like, yeah. Oh, Oh, sure. I didn't wait that. The cat person. I'm sure he knows them. He knows him because he's in the. Finally, Nyanta. Oh, 
is Brigandia another um, guild? Yeah. So that's his quirk, saying Nia after at the end of every sentence or something. Is that what it's called, Nyanta? Did she tell Sarah who they are? Why? Why, why do you have that sad look on your face? I feel like she knows. Adriana. Am I ever gonna figure out all these people? I feel like there's a lot of characters. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, let's see. Was he part of one? Of the team? Yeah. Was he part of the tea party? Or is, is this person going to be the... And I mean, this season or whatever. Guess no! He's not gonna die, right? Is there a spell or something that he can use to save himself? Oh, he fell into water. Okay. He, he, then he should be good. Does he know how to swim? Flashback. Me neither. On to the tea party. No, I'm seeing the faces. Soji? Something happened to her, right? Did something happen to her? <laughs> You've been wanting him to call you like that for like forever. <laughs> so why are you blushing now? Uh huh. Don't you ever learn? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, not a child, but way younger than them. I knew you guys were important. Were they also part of the tea party? Now Sugu was also part of the tea party, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
rat muscle oh yeah he's still to attack him and leave the others alone Oh, that's the one where when you cut it or something or other, like it deals damage. Uh, this reminds me so much of Final Fantasy. Oh, was that the same place that they were? I don't think. I don't know. Okay. They make us. Somewhere in the episode, when uh, oh, Nyanta, that's the cat dude's name, right? Um, somewhere in the episode, but in Su Suku, whatever city that Serara is right now, the mission Brigandia doesn't do something. So, and I was asking if Brigandia was the was a guild name, and then you see this person, Demikas, I think they, they said. And they're calling him the guild master. So if Brigandia is the guild, then I'm assuming that Demikas is the master of that guild. And that this lone duck or whatever is like his second in command. And then he's like, he's the master of this world or whatever. That he won't allow anybody to do something. I don't know, whatever. And then he said, uh, he was going after Serara or something rather. What did Serara do that he is so focused on getting her? I, I, I don't get it. Um, based on what I saw, it seems that Serara is like a maid. Like that's the class of player she is or something or other. I don't know. Look, I'm trying to see... What exactly could have Serena done to piss this guy off so much that he would be doing everything to get her? Like, uh, I don't know. And it seems like this guild, these people have taken over um, the city. I'm forgetting what, what it's called. Suku something. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, I was gonna look up the name of the town that Serara is in. Suzuki no. Okay. Okay, so he said that he won't allow anything to go against his will. Just with Serara. Just take it back to when Serara was doing the home homework <laughs> homework um when she was cleaning and everything and then she 
mentioned the fact that she was acting like a, a housewife or something. And then this guy is like, I won't allow anyone to go against my will. So I'm like, okay, since he's considered like he's taking himself as the master of this world and especially Suzuki, you know, I'm like, did he ask or did he want to take Serara as a wife inside the game? And Serara's like, no. So he's like pissed off because that's basically like going against his will. Like he wants to marry her and she's like no and he's not gonna take that lying down maybe i don't know i'm just trying to think about what exactly she did uh he's pissed off and he wants to find her and yanta <laughs> it, the name suits him because each time um he ended he ends his sentences with nya so his name is Nyanta and then it's like that's the Nya thing so that's like I feel like it's it's appropriate it's an appropriate name for him and so they're living together in Susukino it seems like and then you have these guys trying to find them so yeah and then um our boys and girl oh my gosh when um what was this Akatsuki, when she said that they were the same age, and I'm like, what? Like, I also reacted the same way that the others did. Because <laughs> when you see her, like, she's so petite, and you know, compared to the other two. And so my mama never, I don't know, I never thought that they would be like the same age. I thought she was, she was like, um, younger than them. But nope, they were the same age. And apparently, um... Uh, Kaski was about to grad, not Kaski, uh, <laughs> Shiroi was about to graduate in the real world. I think that's what I read. I might be wrong. And then they, the title of the episode it does, is The Depths of Palms. And they couldn't like ride the griffins all the way to Susu, you know. So they had to go under this mountain, this cave, go to these caves where there were these rat men there. And as they were, you know, walking along, the rocks or whatever fell under him and then he fell into the water. And then when he fell into the water, he's like, I can't die here. If I die, I will wake up back in the cathedral, which would be like, would be like, you know, like all that journey that they did together to go to Sukino and then if he were to die there then he will be like back at the beginning and he will have to do that traveling all over again like he will mess up all the plans but when he fell into the water and then the the screen sort of like went white and I'm like okay are we gonna see a backstory about him in the um tea party and they showed a little bit it seems like okay when he's in the real world he feels all alone and all that but then he started playing the game and then people started recognizing him inside the game like his abilities and stuff so people will be like wanting him to help them find this and that level up and all that and then he came to a point where he was just tired of it or people just i don't know it felt like the people were trying to like have a, sh a shock what's the word shortcut yeah they'll be trying to shortcut the game by having um shiroi tell them exactly what to do to do a particular thing or get it to a particular level or something or other and he was being this just like tired of it and then that's when he met the members of the tea party and they actually enjoyed playing the game enjoyed making new discoveries it wasn't that you know how you have cheat cheat, cheat, <laughs> cheat codes cheat sheets on like okay like for me per, for example like when i'm playing final fantasy games and then i'm looking for something in particular and i'm not finding it then instead of spending hours and hours and whatever trying to look for this particular thing i will go on you know on google and tap in the game and you know some kind of walkthrough you know to try to get where i'm trying to go so i feel like that's where all those people were doing and then 
he was tired of that and then he found the tea party and the tea party they are not about that they actually enjoy the game they want to discover every new little things so he loved being part of the tea party and then among the tea party they showed um Naosugu. They show Naosugu and then they show these two other characters, Soji and uh, the lady. They didn't actually say the lady's name. So there's Soji, there's um, Naosugu. You had Nianta, is also a part of the tea party. You had. Um, who else? Shiro himself and then there's the two little kids that I mentioned in the, the previous uh, episode that I felt like they were like important and then I actually like paused <laughs> I try to look at the screen and look at the shadow whatever of the people that were part of the tea party to see if I could find like two little kids with the, the brown hairs but I didn't find them there but then you had Shiro Wei think about them and asking where they were what they were doing or something or other like that so I'm like were they also part of the tea party and I just didn't see them in the picture in the shadow or whatever in the last episode I don't know but I feel like they probably are part of the tea party I'm just not sure and then there was that scene with uh, okay you had the uh, um, what was it called again the guild um, Crescent Moon Alliance. They had this meeting with these little guilds and their masters or something. They were going to have this meeting. And then there was this person, this blonde guy, and this woman that was giving the blonde guy a report about you know the meeting taking place at the Alliance Guild, the Crescent Moon Alliance Guild. And uh, um, did they mention Shiroi? Did the girls told the guy that Shirui was also there or something or other? I don't know. So I'm like, okay, is that blonde guy, was, also, was he also part of the tea party? Because he seemed to perk up when he heard Shirui's name. So, yeah. I don't know. And it also seems like Nyanta doesn't know who's coming to get Serara. He doesn't know that Shirui is part of the team that's coming for her so yeah it'll be interesting to see how he's gonna react when he comes face to face with Yanta I hope this guy that Demikas I hope he's not part of the tea party because he doesn't look like someone that will be playing the game just for fun he seems like an evil person he seems like a bad person, so I don't see him being part of the tea party. But we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see the next episode right now, you can do so by checking out my Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash Mini. And you can also see the full info of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.